Hello, today we are answering your questions. <laughs> and let's see, where were we? Kimberly, my big thing is tomatoes. All summer long, we enjoy fresh tomatoes. They end up coming out of our ears. I still have gallons of tomatoes in the freezer that I need to use. Yes, me too. And I have been making, even though we don't eat that much spaghetti sauce, I have been making spaghetti sauce specifically to clean out the freezer. So I agree with you. Um, Judy, is there a recipe for cuties or mandarin oranges before they go bad? Um, you could use our orange chicken in volume two and you could squeeze them and do that. You could squeeze them and make uh, orange juice for the orange chicken. Vicky, looking, uh, cooking from scratch tastes better. But does not always save money. 100%, Vicki. You are right. It depends on what the meal is. Yep. Edith says blue plate mayo. I have never had blue plate mayo. So maybe I need to see if I can find that one. I don't know where I'd find it here in Wyoming. But Creatively Country says, I think cooking from scratch has changed a bit. People often mean instead of buying a bakery cake, bake one from scratch, from a box. Yeah, the definition of baking from scratch now is definitely... Not the same as it used to be, that's for sure. I think there's another comment that's kind of funny about that. What? We'll go back there. Oh, hold on. Maybe you read that comment. This one here? Did you read this one yet? Uh, Marilyn says, my friends say if they had to stir it, it's homemade. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the one I found. they pretty hilarious. Cheyenne loves us. Thank you, Cheyenne. We're glad somebody loves us. Um, Crick. Uh... Chris, sweet. I just bought the last book I didn't have, so now the trio will be complete. Thanks for all the tips you share with us. You are welcome. And guys, if you buy our cookbooks on sale for Mother's Day, 50% off right now. If you buy the sets, 40% off. If you buy the singles, I will sign them for you. I have been sitting here signing the books. And anything you guys order during the live show, I will uh sign for you so tomorrow i'm going to be writing and writing and writing and writing and writing <laughs> right dear you remind me of what is that christmas show i don't know round and round yep. and round. <laughs> <laughs> what is it oh toy boy toy boy yeah. yes santa and toy boy who who's from wichita who knows or kansas do you guys remember toy boy and santa i love toy boy okay. he was so cute all right. Get what more does that say about here. the kind of men I like? <laughs> that gnomes and I have a thing for little men, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that sounded weird. Sorry. Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> of which you aren't one, honey. <laughs> okay. Joyce had leftover roast with cheese and garlic bread. Yum. Hot dog roll with garlic butter today it was delish yum yes diane i already have the gluten-free cookbook just bought volume one and two thank you i will sign them kitsy have you seen packaging with bioengineered ingredients your thoughts uh, my thoughts i'm not going to worry about it guys the world is going berserk and so if i had to look at every package to see if it was bioengineered bio -engineered ingredients at this point I would just die from the stress. I got enough stress going on in my life. I cannot be worrying about every single bite of food I put in my mouth. I need to be worrying about eating less food and losing weight more than bioengineered foods. I don't sit there and just eat bioengineered foods right and left, but I just, I don't think it's, I just don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I think Jesus is going to come back before it's going to even matter. So. Well, well, but but you're you're saying it like it's new, and I think people yeah. are thinking it's new, but it's not new. They yeah. they have a new labeling standard. But if you've been eating that food that says but it's bioengineered any time in the last twenty years, you've been eating it bioengineered. Yeah. So if you're not glowing in the dark by now, you're probably fine. <laughs> Because the thing is, it's not that they're suddenly adding that to it. it was, it's just that they've changed the labeling to what was already happening. And to be honest, if you... You're not in the dark. People, are, um, people are really worried about it. But if you, if you look at what they do, it's rarely anything that's bizarre. Or that sounds like it could be bizarre. I mean, I think even... I think in general... 
I don't really think there's a problem. But almost all the ones that I've researched, it was very little <laughs> difference between that and some of the stuff that they used to do at the farms when I was working at the university, which would be like, you know, transplanting pollen from one plant to another. Now it's, it's at a DNA level, but it's still not, for the most part, really crazy stuff. I personally think Jesus is going to be coming back soon. So I'm not really worried about it. I don't know. Type one, guys, if you're if you're glowing in the dark, and type two, if you're not. I'm curious to see how many people are glowing in the dark right now. <laughs> it's been a very stressful last two months. <laughs> okay. Wow. To take kind me of, away. It, it, kind of, it kind of threw Tara <laughs> off when we got disconnected. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, I got off on my, on my comments here. Um, thank you, Karen. She ordered a set of three for 50% off. Thank you so much. Wanda, Tara, is making from scratch mean you scratch your head while trying to come up with an idea for meal? Yes, it is. LOL. <laughs> Uh, Melissa, from recent experience, I wouldn't let peanut butter, such as Jif Natural, get too much past the date. Had a jar and it was hiding and the date was 2020. Yeah, 20, peanut butter really can't go longer than about six to nine months past the date because the oil will go rancid. Uh, Carooster, my going out to eat meal is burritos for $6 at the local taqueria. Yum. Mm, she said that, yum. See, you just read that, yum. Yes. <laughs> Nancy, no, no, no. If you stick to the list, you miss all the good stock up buys. Yes, exactly. Diane, oh, did they did they type one or two to see if they're glowing yet? No one's glowing. Oh, see, nobody's glowing yet. See, I'm so proud of you guys. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying that there's just absolutely nothing to do with that, but I don't know that there's any actual proof that <coughs> there's really anything wrong. So, well, I've looked to see and I, I, when I was in television at the at Washington State University, I was on the farm program doing videos with them about it and seeing what they do. And uh, a lot of it is just things like um, finding a, a, a variety of the plant that has a slightly different um, something to try to make all the varieties have. So for instance, like, uh, I think it's on some sort of wheat in order to make it resistant to bugs. They put, they, um, they found that one particular gene from one of them causes it to uh, have these little microscopic little pokey things, which is just wheat. It's just a, like, a, like a little springing off thing on that. And people say, oh, it's got pesticide. No, well, the pesticide is that the plant itself slices the bugs so that they basically bleed to death and then they die. And so it's not actually a poison. It's just, it's a, it's a modification to the plant that makes it slightly behave slightly differently with the bugs. But the thing is that won't hurt people because, you know, it's, it's related to the size of that. And that's the types of stuff that most of the modifications are. So when people say big, scary things about them, I mean, it would be, big, it would be weird if they were taking like, animal stuff and putting it into plants and maybe they do in some ways, but I, everything I've looked at, it didn't scare me at all. So maybe it would be good to go particularly to ag sites and see how they describe what, what they do and see what you think about it. Cause if you go to YouTube shows, they're all going to say, Oh my goodness, the whole world is falling apart. <laughs> We're all going to die. But you know, it's just like the thing about macaroni is just like poison, but grandma's been eating it for 75 96 years. 96 years. 96. Oh, yeah. She was like single digit ages yeah, when they used to like buy it. she was like four and five when she was buying it. So I wouldn't, so just don't let that stuff worry you is what I'm saying. Kathy says they have corn night, clean out refrigerator night. That's cute. Joyce, uh, her idea of sticking to my list is checking for deals and markdowns. Yep. Georgina, I'm with you. Farmer's markets aren't that cheap. No, I haven't seen any cheap for a really long time. Heather Mountains, we buy basic spices to make our own blends and liquid smoke in the summer. That's great. 
Melissa, what kind of container do you use to store your seasonings? I use old seasoning containers. So like I buy the individual seasonings like oregano, um, garlic, onion, and then I make my seasoning and then I pour it in there. So, and um, I do have Mike's big bottle of fajita seasoning. We were buying that for a while, but when we lived in Colorado, but now I just refill it. I've been using it a lot less since we've been doing the Montreal seasoning. <laughs> He likes the Montreal. Uh, the fajita seasoning is great, but wow, now that I've I've been finding the Montreal. Yeah. Is the really... Montreal is in volume two. Montreal seasoning. Yeah, guys, I will sign your books if you order between now and the end of the show today. Um, anything that anybody orders, I will um, sign it for you. Uh, Janet. The Amish do the same thing in our area. Farmers markets are a racket here. We have a four wheel riding area near us and everyone and everything is sky high because they know these out of town folks will buy and pay any price. Yeah, I know. I'm telling you. Uh, Janet, make a shopping list from the sale papers and plan meals around sales. Yes, that is exactly what we do. Veronica, everything bagel seasoning on top of deviled eggs. Oh, that's a new one. I'll have to try that. I've never tried that. Hmm. Emily, one of your videos, you said someone sent you the Montreal seasoning, was wondering how that compared to the one in your book. So it's it's pretty similar. Yeah, it's pretty similar. That's the same uh, bucket that I'm reusing, or can, shaker that I'm reusing. Emily, uh, or Kelly, your recommendations by when items are sell versus full price is spot on. I've been doing this for years and cringe if I have to buy an item full price. Yes. Now, I will admit, now, because I only have Walmart, Ridley's, and Albertsons, I don't have any discount stores like Aldi's or anything. I do buy full price at Walmart a lot of my groceries, but that's my sale price. So, like, buying mayonnaise at Walmart not on sale is my sale price compared to Albertsons and my Ridley's little town store. So I still buy on sale, but it's the regular price of Walmart, but that's what I have. When I was in Colorado, I would go to save a lot. When I was in Kansas, I'd go to Aldi. So yeah. Keep talking. Um, he says to keep talking, but I've lost my things. Oh, sorry. Um, the email down there. Okay. okay. Was it, is it going bad again? Nope. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Karen, when serving sizes aren't stated, are most of your recipes for four? Yes, they are. Patty, everything you talk about seems like common sense, yet people don't seem to get it. Do they really not understand or do they not want to understand? They do not want to understand. This has been the most frustrating thing about our business for the last 25 years. Why I'm changing some things up with how I'm doing videos because people really... They complain about prices, but they really don't want to do what it takes to save money on groceries. They really don't. Jamie from Southern California, and because of your tips and recipes, I cut my grocery bill $50 to $70 a week Woo! for my family of three. She used to spend $100 to $125 a week. Thank you so much. You are welcome. See, you guys, even in Southern California. Aside from Alaska, that's probably the most expensive place in the country. That is great. Kitsy says, sometimes Ibotta app has good deals. All right. This will be the next one. Yes. Edifying says she uses rebate apps. There you go. The money she uses, the money she gets back is what she used for her homeschool budget. Good. Shauna, I'm so excited my cookbooks were delivered today. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. It's her birthday and Mother's Day gifts. Happy Since birthday. Her birthday is on Mother's Day this year. All right. Amber, just ordered volume two. Excited as I already have the other two. Now my collection will be complete. That is great. She says it is chock full of tips and non-food recipes. Yes. We have over 800 recipes and tips in volume Two, we have 1,200 recipes and tips in Dining on a Dime, Volume 1. And our gluten-free, we have 800 recipes and tips. Yep. And just so you guys know, I'm going to be incorporating a lot of those into our newer videos. So be watching for those. Desert Lady, I'm Jill's age, been living on a dime for 30 years. Thank you for your tips and cookbooks for our younger generation. You guys are great. You're welcome. Thank you. 
And if I, we drink water for variety, we drink water with ice. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Uh, Vicki, when I have made tacos, I just dump whatever seasons I have in the ground beef that I'm browning. Yeah. That's a lot of times, that's what I do. I mean, I make up big batches of taco seasoning when I'm doing it for the show or whatever, but normally what I do is I just pour it, just pour in some onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, cayenne, and salt and pepper. I just pour them in there. So literally takes me one minute to do that. Darlene always makes my banana bread and our Bible study group loves it. Thank you. So on our banana bread, so I lied. Volume two does have this banana bread recipe because I frankly just could not find a better one. I tried to find another one for this one and I just couldn't find it. So what I did was volume one has our original, my original banana bread recipe that I got from my neighbor, Robin. And volume two has it with variations. So I want to do a video on that, on the variations. Robin, when you were a teenager? Yeah, in Springfield. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking you meant. Sonia, I love that you have the electronic versions of all three books. She's so ready to have a hard copy of all three. Happy Mother's Day to me. Yay, she just ordered all three. Thank you. And guys, 50% off. And another, uh, or Sandra says, do we ship to Canada? I'm sorry, we do not ship outside of the U.S. You can thank the international laws for that. <laughs> It just turned into a way bigger hassle than we could just deal with all the time. And so we just finally had to quit dealing with the VAT taxes and customs and everything. It was just a nightmare. Other so. countries wanted us to set up like a basically a bookkeeping department for each of their countries to manage the taxes they wanted us to collect to pay to other countries. And we just don't have the resources to do that. Yeah, I just can't do it. Oh, oh. Um. Do you want me to send you another one? I think you did. Marcy, just order volume one for a wedding gift. Thank you. It's 40% off right now. Tracy, I can't wait to order the blue book. She has the red one. Yes, that's our volume two. And do we have a picky child eater cookbook? No, but I can tell you all of my kids are picky eaters, and they eat pretty much all the recipes in our book. Catherine, that's why she made it that's that way. That's why I made it, yeah. Catherine, I love watching your lives. I listen to old ones with headphones while I get things done. Thank you. She's a stay-at-home mom and things get lonely sometimes. Aw, we brighten her day, she says. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Lorna, Tara, I tell customers about you in Belfast. We make traditional grills and scones, so I tell them that you have had a lot of easy ideas. Oh, Aww, Belfast thanks. is awesome. <laughs> Hello, Kimmy. I saw you had a new video out today. My friend Kimmy from She's in Her Apron. We love Kimmy. I think Kimmy still loves us too. Um, <laughs> if she's still showing up. And Darlene says her Bible study group loves the banana bread. Uh, I can't remember if that was the same comment or not, but that is great. Diane planted beets and got cherry tomatoes. Go figure <laughs> If you planted beets, it wasn't beets. <laughs> Although what's funny is I was getting my seeds out the other day and a package had fell open and I didn't know what it was. And we had to sit there and go through and try to figure out. And it was beets. That's funny. Value Badlands spaghetti sauce, homemade soups, chili stews are all good ways to use up your tomatoes. Yep. Heather, do you think making sourdough bread is worth it? I've never tried making it, but I hear so much about it. I mean, if you like baking bread, yes, it tastes good. If you need an easy sourdough recipe or potato flake starter in here, or if you want an original sourdough recipe, volume two, but um, you can go to livingonadime.com and also get the recipe. I mean, I like it. I just am gluten-free now, so I can't eat bread, but it just depends. If you like baking bread, then I would say yes. Bonnie, Bonnie, with the prices of baking supplies, is it cheaper to start a sourdough and bake your own bread? Sourdough, yes, it is much cheaper. If you're paying five dollars a loaf for sour bread, sourdough bread, you can make it at home for about fifty cents. So yes, it is definitely cheaper. Julie, half homemade. If I use mix from scratch when I measure and add all the ingredients individual individually, there you go. Amber. We'd all be living on air. It's too much to dissect every ingredient. Yeah, that's where I'm at at this point. Laura, so 
thrilled to finally get to order all three cookbooks I've been watching since 2018. Get it together, people. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and guys, if you want our planner, get it together, people planning. We have about 30 left, 400 pages, 366 days. If you go to the sales page, there's a video for each of our books and you can flip through and see all of the pages in our books and what's in there. And if you order during the show right now, I will sign all of your books for you. Yay. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, Bounty in the Badlands. Baking day is every Wednesday in my house. Sourdough, I start on Tuesday, bake on Wednesday. All my cakes, etc., from scratch. Way cheaper than buy it all. Very good. Yep. Heather uh, the Mountain says, the blood covers all. All I do is make sure to thank God for my food and ask him to ensure it'll bless me and not harm me. Yes, I need to start praying that I won't choke either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wanda, I must not have eaten enough bioengineered food yet. I still have to turn the lights on to see. <laughs> Jim, how do you stop grazing? Any tips? We're too much like cows in our eating habits. That's my big problem. I don't know, Jim. I cannot help you with that one because that's my big problem is I snack. What happens is for me, if I'm not outside working in the garden and I'm in the house working on the, on the computer and stuff, my brain just gets way overwhelmed. And I just have to get up and I go to the kitchen, get something to eat, get something to drink. And then I do that every... 30 minutes to an hour because I just can't sit there for that long. And so I don't know how to talk, tell you to stop grazing because that's my big problem. <laughs> oh, my Atlantis says my glowness happens when I wear shorts. <laughs> <laughs> so for this video, in case you guys missed it, in the last video, someone asked us about bio-engineered foods and what we think. And Mike said, you've been eating bio-engineered food for 20 years. Nobody's glowing yet. So I asked if anybody was glowing. <laughs> Catherine, I love watching your old lives. Oh, wait, got that one. Um, next one. Amelia, my main thing is checking for food allergies. Yes, that is my big one also. Bumblebee, I've come to realize the Lord is already protecting me from so much. Yes, you are right. Karen, I only glow in the dark with really nice candles. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, Melissa, I watch episodes of you guys every night. I make supper and tidy my home. Always listening for new tips. Yay. Veronica, I love the Montreal seasoning too. I like it on corn and other random vegetables. Yes, it is super delicious. We've been using it on everything. Uh, Nancy, is there a gluten-free pasta brand that you like? I've not found one that we like, and I sure don't want to make pasta. I don't find any of them that bad. I don't like the chickpea ones as well as just the rice ones or the corn ones, but I don't know. Uh, MLE says gray on, gray's on low-cal stuff. That's what I need to do is I need to cut up some celery and carrots and just put them out on the counter and then I can graze on those because I like celery. I just need to do that. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see if my quite okay, here we go. All right. Let me see. How much should I pay for two people? Are you talking about groceries? If you're meaning groceries, about a hundred dollars per person per month is what I say. Avery says she's a snacker too, trying to eat only at real meal times. Yeah, that's my big problem is snacking. <sighs> For me, if I make myself write down what it is I ate and how many calories it is, I won't snack because it's just the grazing is just not paying attention. But once I think, wait, I don't want to eat that. That's going to add how many calories. <laughs> but writing it down is hard to discipline myself to do though, so... Yeah, I did find the doctor put me on um, medication like two years ago and it totally took away my appetite and it was glorious. I lost like 25 pounds and it was great. But as soon as I went off the medication, I just gained it all back again. Jenny, I wish you could help the lady that spent $1,600 a month for 10 people. She makes videos on YouTube. She doesn't want help. She's making very good money doing that. So quite frankly... I think she should be spending $1,600 a month for 10 people because I guarantee you 
she's probably making $60,000 a month spending that $16,000. So, um, so I have no problem with her doing that and making videos. She's doing that for the clickbait uh, factor of it. And that's fine. I know other YouTubers who literally go, do these big grocery hauls and then they give away the food because they can't eat it all. So I'm okay with that. It's a way to make money. It's not like any other business. If a fence company had to buy boards for fences and they couldn't use all the boards and they had to give some of the boards away, you wouldn't be faulting them. People have this, oh dear. I'm feeling it coming on. I'm trying to calm myself. Oh no. But <laughs> it drives me nuts. People has, have this thing about YouTubers spending money on stuff like that. You, I'm going to have a stroke. What? You would not believe the number of comments I got on the laundry detergent testing videos of how many people were appalled that I bought that much laundry detergent to test it. <laughs> well, I certainly hope you're giving that to the food pantry when you're done with it. It's none of your darn tootin' business what I do with the stuff on my business. Oh my goodness, you don't go into a restaurant and tell them to, st well, you probably do if you're that kind of a person. But any person with half an ounce of manners isn't going to do that. And... You guys have to realize these YouTubers are entertainers. They're entertainers. It's no different than somebody going and they're a circus act and they buy all of these apples to be juggling 50 apples in the air. Well, you're not going to tell them, well, I certainly hope you're going to donate to that to the food pantry. Well, why are you wasting so much money on that? It's a business. It's a business and it's okay. I'm actually very okay. Do I think it's ridiculous if they say they're saving money? Yes, I think it's ridiculous and it's not actually saving money. So I think that's lying if they're saying it from that angle. But if they're just doing grocery, did I just totally make everybody go berserk? No, they're just having fun with what you're saying. But. Darn tootin' is just in the chat. <laughs> but <laughs> it's not like the dumb laundry soap. Why can I not keep the laundry soap and have laundry soap till I die? I do not understand this. It's like people have plum lost their minds. I was watching another YouTuber, a fashion, uh, not a fashion, a makeup lady that I really like. I've been watching her for years and she's hit a million subscribers now. I remember watching her when she had 3,000 subscribers. And so she's got a million subscribers now. And she was talking about this same thing. And it's like, <laughs> really? If Dowdery doesn't want to go spend $4,000 a month on groceries, who cares? She's making $40,000 at least from those videos. Who's the dumb one now? <laughs> I'd say she's pretty darn tootin' smart if you ask me. Susan says, I think I'll change my YouTube name to darn tootin'. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. They make a lot of money. And I'm not yelling at you guys because you guys are usually pretty good. But because I see who's subscribed and who's not. And it's always the people who aren't my subscribers or normal people that are on there. So it's other people who have come in. So I'm not like yelling at you guys. I'm yelling at all the twits that are going to be watching this later. But <laughs> if you feel the urgent need to comment, <laughs> you're that person. <laughs> Guys, these women are business owners. I know personally of a grocery haul person, and she's making seven figures, 
seven guys that's over a million dollars a year doing grocery hauls. And it ain't my friend Kimmy that's on here. <laughs> but guys, it's a business. It is a business. Okay. <laughs> Did you have the ambulance on standby? No. <laughs> Actually, it's it's kind of... <laughs> we, we probably should hire somebody again to do the first row of comments because <laughs> it's, it's sometimes... Like, there's a lot of people that make great comments, but there are a lot of people that just make comments where I think, you know, if there was a speed bump between your brain and your mouth, you might realize, wait... This comment isn't going to be very good. <laughs> well, the thing is, I totally get why people are frustrated with the, like the lady who spends $1,600 on 10 kids. I get that. I look at that and I think from a housewife personal standpoint, wow, what a huge waste of money. <laughs> she could cut her grocery bill in half. Olympia says because he told people we'd be gone soon, so you have to give away the soap. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious olympia <laughs> let me tell you if the rapture happens somebody's gonna be really happy they struck gold at our house <laughs> with laundry soap um but but when you turn around and look at it from a business point of view see nobody's looking at these youtubers as business people this is a business this is our business this is how we pay our bills and so some of the things we do are coming at it from a business point of view instead of a money point of view. And so that's just where these YouTubers are coming from. So even though it looks ridiculous from a housewife point of view, it is ridiculous from a housewife point of view. I know some of these grocery hauls, I just cringe when I see all the yogurt packets they buy on sale. I'm like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? But I get why they do it. Okay, Emily, I have followed your tips and saved dollars, but I draw the line at chicken thighs and leg quarters. Tried, but can't do it. Why? It's just a chicken thigh. Do you not eat, like, fried chicken at the grocery store or anything? Or it so she said in another comment that, that she thinks it tastes a little different, which I think it does. But well, it's just dark meat versus light yeah, meat. Yeah, but then she said something about getting feathers and stuff in it. And other people said that too. And I was thinking, I've never got I've feathers. never had a feather. But she lives in South Texas. So I'm wondering if wherever she's going, the supplier huh. she's got is, is, since we didn't live there, maybe the supplier she's got mm. is not very thorough about the feathers. Mm. I wouldn't buy it if there were feathers either. But. Rose family, good morning from Japan. She scored the clearance pile for fruit last week. Ooh, that's great. Wanda, when I was in Hawaii, I felt like I was having a mini heart attack every time I saw the prices of things. Yeah, Hawaii and, and um, Alaska, I'll give you high prices. Donna, we love the honey garlic chicken, the same and added. Uh, let's see, the honey garlic chicken might be in volume two, I think. And added some Asian vegetables. Yes, that's a great way to stretch it. Vicki, I've learned so much from you. I love stocking up on the stuff on sale and then make my meal plans around everything in the pantry. Very good. Yes. Heather, chicken thighs are my favorite. Yay. Debbie, packing my lunch as I'm watching. Good job. Donna, I love a homemade cleaner with alcohol and ammonia. That's in volume one, livingonadime.com. You can find the recipe. Just type in homemade cleaner. It cleans and gets my counter sinks and faucets shiny. Heidi, I ordered more of your cookbooks for upcoming graduation gifts. Thank and wedding gifts. Thank you. Next one. Sure. Nancy, Tara, is there a gluten-free pasta? Oh, I got that one. Yeah. Um, I Yeah, that's the one thing I do miss is being gluten-free. Uh, Elizabeth, is $400 too much for veggies for 13 weeks? Well, I don't know how many people you're feeding. So I really couldn't tell you. That's funny. So if you guys have actually gotten feathers. I have never gotten feathers ever. That's weird. huh? I mean, we've lived in a lot of places and we've visited a lot of other places. Mm. <laughs> I'm shocked because we've eaten leg quarters for 20 plus years. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's very interesting. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. The next one. 
Avery, I'm a snacker too. I am trying to eat only real meal times and afternoon snack time. I am not doing a diet now. I am just trying to curb over my eating, sticking to meal times. Yes. So what I'm trying to do is eat two, three meals and three snacks and just stick to that. I haven't gotten there yet. Like today, when I got a phone call for an appointment for new glasses, and they said, are you coming for your appointment? I was like, yeah, tomorrow. Uh, no, you were supposed to be here 30 minutes ago. So I had to have Mike call the school to go get Jack, told them to go have him at the front door, picked up Jack, ran over to the glasses place, spent three hours over there getting the glasses. It's special glasses in a couple of weeks. You guys are going to possibly see my glasses change. And um, so... Uh, went and got the Erlen test and all of that. And I got home and I was just like, oh my goodness, that absolutely wore me out. <laughs> that was a number. Um, Jamie says she loves that I keep it real. <laughs> Do I keep it real at our house, honey? Yep. <laughs> Do I keep it a little too real sometimes? <laughs> You're a good example for others. <laughs> <laughs> no, what you really want to say is you serve as a warning to others. That's what you want to say. Well, there's that. <laughs> Susan, Tara, have you tried slap your mama adobe or onion butter seasoning? I have not. Well, maybe the adobe one, not onion butter. I don't know what that is. What is the difference between one and two? So volume one is the red one. Volume two is the blue one. They are different recipes, but they can go together or you can use them apart. But I would start here because this is all of our basic recipes with the taco seasoning and all that. And these are all the recipes we just frankly couldn't fit into volume one. But it's all comfort foods, homemade foods, easy foods with ingredients you already have, cheap ingredients, so you're not spending a lot of money. Pam, I had a thought the other night. Instead of I love Lucy, you should start a show I love Tara with all your oops videos. <laughs> <laughs> and some of the faces you make. <laughs> do I make faces? Yes. I do? Yep. Hmm. What kind of faces do I make? <laughs> That's one right there. <laughs> well, did you okay. see the thumbnails lately? <laughs> exactly like that one, too. Uh, Nancy, so hard not to graze if you cook and are home all day. Yes, that's my problem. That's my problem. I like to cook. Valley of Badlands, grazing in our house is veggies and apples, and occasionally we dip in jalapeno jelly. Ooh, yum. Guacamole or ranch. Jen! Uh-oh, darn tootin' has entered the chant. <laughs> chat. Get it together, people. <laughs> yes. I Listen, I know you guys aren't doing this because you guys are just... You guys are nice, <laughs> but the number of people, are you, you guys have no idea the number of people. Do you know why? Because every hour, every hour I sit down and go through the comments and delete all the nasty people because I ain't going to have that stuff on my channel. It's ridiculous. Now it's getting to the point where I may have to stop doing that, but it's absolutely absurd what people are saying nowadays. I mean, it's just. <laughs> Sorry. There's another one. No. Oh, yeah. I was just looking at these. My son wants to make a posters with pictures of y'all's faces. Oh. <laughs> oh, all your, no, all your faces. <laughs> Look at what Jamie says. <laughs> your nostrils get gigantuan. Oh, gigantor. Your, oh, gigantor. <laughs> and your eyes get, get crazy. <laughs> That's do hilarious. I really? I didn't realize I did that that much. Oh, you have some great expressions. I do? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know I was a comedian. <laughs> You're the comedian of the family. <laughs> you AP, thought so, didn't not you? like you won't use it up or give it away or whatever. It's no one's business. Yeah. I mean, if nothing else, I'll just tell my kids, you need some laundry soap? Go grab some. I've got four kids and my mom. I think between the four of us, we'll, you know, we'll use it. Emily, good grief. None of that soap you bought will go to waste. I know. She said, some people astound me. I know. Wanda, why are people always telling someone to give their stuff away? I thank you. You, 
I'm not kidding. Probably once a day, if not more frequently, at least once a day. I have somebody telling me I should be giving my stuff to the food bank or the homeless or whatever. And I'm like, I worked hard for that. I ain't going to be giving it away unless I choose to give it to someone. We are very generous in our giving. We don't announce it because this is really nobody's darn tootin' business. Still got the darn tootin'. <laughs> but it's not up to you to tell me where I'm going to give it. Not that you guys are, but you know what I'm saying. <sighs> Marilyn, do you have any work from home advice that would bring in extra income? Yes, I do. Go back a few videos. I don't know. It's probably, when did I do them? Probably February. Just go back a few videos. And I did four videos with uh, ways to earn money over the age of 50. They're, they're all in there. There's a whole bunch. Uh, Donna, we have changed to using one teaspoon for small load and one tablespoon of time for larger loads. Clothes are actually cleaner and softer. That is great. I'm going to tell Pistol his advice was taken. The Claire says, travel clips from Lori had to admonish some of the viewers for being nasty. I do not understand some people. I know. Well, it's funny because really the internet has been really bad for that. Um, and even more social media. Because people that are prone to be tacky in real life but are afraid to... <laughs> They're not afraid to be tacky when people don't know who they are. They're behind the screen. <laughs> and it's just, I think, helped people to feel like um, that everyone's wondering what they're thinking about everything all the time. <laughs> and it's it's just a bizarre psychological thing that it's created in people, a lot of people. Guys, our cookbooks are on sale right now, 50% off the sets and 40% off the individual books. And I will sign them if you order during the show right now. So go order them during the show and I will sign them for you. Um, okay, let's see. Sorry, I had my little rant there. Oh, I just felt bad for my beauty lady because she's such a nice lady. She's genuine. And all the woman did was grow her hair out gray. And you would have thought she had gotten the worst facelift in the century instead of just growing, changing hair colors with some of the comments that she's had over the years. It's absolutely unbelievable how just rude people are. She looks really good. And she doesn't look any older or nothing. <sighs> Actually, yeah, a lot of, a lot of, I mean, pretty much all YouTubers have the problem of those kinds of comments. And I know. And the main thing is, if you think about your life, you know, there's probably out of every hundred, if you know a hundred people, there are probably three or four of them that you're like, wow, <laughs> that person needs a screwdriver because <laughs> they got a loose screw somewhere. But, or they need a laxative. So if there's 300,000 people following you, then... They got something stuck. Then there's just a lot more need potential help for the people that need to be <laughs> plucked. I'll give them a box <laughs> of laxatives. we're talking about feathers. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, mommy to three kids. Barilla gluten-free is the best in my option. Yeah, I like that one really well. Um... Donna, some folks have brains in the wrong part of their body. No kidding. LeClaire says people are so brazen when they get behind the computer screen. Yep. Nancy, a lot of really nosy people have way too much time on their hands. Yep. Georgina, when do the books go off sale? May 3rd. Bounty, Tara, as a business owner, I totally get where you're coming from. It takes investment to make money. Yeah. Like my son is a YouTuber and he's like, the other day he was like, mom, I'm having the hardest time wrapping my brain around the fact that I need to buy these expensive things for my tiny house because he's making so much affiliate income from them. Like, let's say he buys a $500 heater, but he could make $2,500 in affiliate income doing a review video on it. And it's hard coming. And that's where our business went wrong. That's where our business went wrong. 
was we should have never been living on a dime. We should have never done that. That is my biggest regret to this day. I still regret that. And that is where we went wrong. We should not have gone into the frugal living because people don't want to live frugally. And then if they actually do live frugally, they're not going to be buying our products. They're going to go to our website and print out all the recipes themselves. Now, you won't get all the nice pretty color pictures and you won't have them all in one place unless you get a binder and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, people who are so like my mother would never buy my book <laughs> or her book. She would never. I would not if I was still my frugal self that I was. Well, the thing is, that, but now I would because I know the value of it. Because I know the value of well, having it all in one say. place and how much money it saves. Well, that's what I was going to say is there's a point where if you're too focused on being ultra tight, you don't necessarily give yourself the ability to spend money on things that will save you. Like, for instance, <clears throat> we have a, an internet business, obviously, and on our website, uh, there was this some kind of a plugin for the website and it was going to save like 10 hours a week of work. And all these other people were saying, I wouldn't dare use this particular app. And they, and I would go look to see what people were saying about it. I wouldn't dare use it because it's $6 a month. I can't believe they're charging for it and it's not free. And I was thinking, well, for me, it's worth $6 a month to not spend 10 hours a week <laughs> on this particular project. And so you can be too frugal sometimes in that if if you're saving money on something, but in reality, it buying it would save you. Not saying you should just be, have license to buy everything in the world, but there are a lot of things that it's so much. It, it if you could be working more or doing something else, and you actually are working more or doing something else, then it's worth it in some ways. Like the example I gave. Six dollars for an app that saves all this time. Actually, her brother and I years ago tried to manually do some stuff with our website, and it took like two months. And now we have an app that does it, and it's like six or ten dollars a month. <laughs> and I'm thinking, why did we spend two months not getting paid trying to do it for free? Yeah. So. <laughs> Carol, some people must have not have a life because they're too busy living other people's lives. Yeah. Vicki, no different than when people buy lots of toys or electronics just to test them out on their YouTube channels. Exactly. It's the same thing. And yes, Peg says, block those people. I do. I ban them and I block them. Emily says, love you guys. This is your ministry helping us. Thank you. I'm so glad it is helping. And if you guys need a Bible, speaking of ministry, we do give away free Bibles and we just ran out again. So we have more on the way. So it might take a week or so if, if uh, we don't have any, but we still have a few boxes. Um, so we may. Okay. It'll just depend. So um, if you guys want a free Bible, we do still give away free Bibles. There is. No strings attached. If you have the money, you can buy one. Some people have asked to do that. So if you don't have the money, just use the coupon code free Bible. Uh, Jim, laundry soap for Christmas kid gifts. Oh, I'm sure my kids would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Valley and Badland. People need to actually pluck a chicken. Seriously, the odd feather on a store-bought chicken is nothing. I know. I guess that's what I was thinking was even if you find a feather, well, big deal. Just pluck it out. I mean, I guess I don't. Guess I don't know what the big deal is, but I've never plucked a chicken, but I know the process of plucking chicken. And let me tell you, one feather is nothing. Claire just ordered her cookbooks. Whoopee! Yay! Thank you. Donna, do you do use liquid fabric softeners? I read the vinegar might not be good for washing machines. Is video okay, vinegar okay to use? I do not use fabric softener. And Pistol, our favorite plants repair man, says you really shouldn't use it either because it builds up in your washer and or dryer. I don't know why vinegar wouldn't be bad. Vinegar should be fine. It wouldn't do anything. Just clean out the slime. Jenny, my cousin is a TikTok creator and probably YouTube as well. She shows everything she buys. Now I realize how she affords the new 
Lexus, a large dually truck to pull her long camper into carts. Yes. If you don't have to have a lot of subscribers, but YouTube can be a very lucrative business. This is the most money we have ever made in our lives by a long shot. And that's why I was really frustrated when we had this emergency come up. I'm like, okay, we're finally making more income. <laughs> we're doing everything right. We're not eating out. We're not buying brand new cars and getting loans and all this kind of stuff. We're not got thousands of hundreds of thousands in student loans and all this. We're doing everything right. And then this happens. And so, yes, I, that frustrates me, but I remember when we lost money on our first house, we lost, we had to write a check for $8,000. We lost 12,000, but we had to write a check when Mike was making $9 an hour, write a check for $8,000 to sell our first house for the people to buy it. And then our house in Kansas, we lost $20,000 and I was really frustrated. But when we sold our house in Colorado, we made $200,000, $300,000 on it. So God, more than, what would that be? That's more than, is that 10 times? It's 150% increase. 150% increase. Which is 250% of what we paid for it. So, you know, I, I have my moments, but I keep trying to remember that, that I know. And so you just have to do that with those things. Christine, when I get in a better place, I'm planning on getting the gluten-free book for my aunt. Yes, if she's gluten-free, she will love it. Uh, Christine, send me another video and I'll send it to you for filming an update video. Jenny, my cousin, oh wait, Heather, when doing laundry, do you use anything when washing whites to keep them white bright? So the best thing you can do is hang them on the clothesline in the sun. That's the best way to keep them white and bright. Johnny, all Southerners know banana sandwiches. Put Dukes on banana slice bread and it's so good. I cannot even fathom how that could taste even remotely good. Should I try that live on the show on Wednesday? Uh, banana sandwiches? Sure. With mayonnaise? I don't know. I have some Dukes in the refrigerator left, left from the thing. Banana and mayonnaise. What if I don't like it? You want to try it? Not with mayonnaise, but... I've heard of it though, uh, and actually, I don't, did you have you ever heard of peanut butter and banana sandwiches? Yes, I can't imagine that either. Oh, because that was pretty common among a lot of my friends when I was growing that up. That was a. Um, I didn't like peanut butter, so. That was an Elvis. Yeah, supposedly he was the one that did it. Uh, how do you freeze tomatoes? I throw them whole into a baggie into the freezer. That's all I do. I just throw them in there. And then I just grind them up and use them for soups with the immersion blender. You can grind them up beforehand and boil them down a little bit and then just have them stacked in baggies if you'd rather do that. Tether, do you do anything to clean your dishwasher? My husband thinks ours smells. So if he thinks your smells, it probably does smell. You don't need to do anything to clean it. You need to clean the filter. There is a filter that needs to be cleaned out every three months to a year, depending on how often you use it. And if your dishwasher is smelling, that is it right there. Next one. Amelia, you aren't the only ones cleaning folks out there of your feet. See that happening on several channels. You aren't the only one cleaning folks. Oh, we aren't. Oh, we aren't the only ones cleaning folks out of our feeds. Several channels are doing it. Yeah. It's gotten ridiculous and it's extremely discouraging. And that's why we really appreciate when you guys say nice things. Because not everybody does. Because not everybody does. And yeah. So Jen says, you mean banana and mayo? Holy moly. I know, Jen, I'm not from the South and neither are you, so. It's hard to imagine mayo and banana together, but I guess we could try it. Let's see. Today's Monday. If I buy a banana at the store tomorrow, will it be right by Wednesday? I usually look for ones that are getting ready to go on the clearance because they're already starting to 
look nice and ripe. Okay, type one if you guys think that mm. I should try banana and mayonnaise on Wednesday's show. <laughs> You've got the look again. You've just had three new expressions. <laughs> Here, here's our next, here's our thumbnail for banana and mayonnaise sandwich. You're like. <laughs> Everybody thinks I should. <laughs> Actually, what's funny is there was one for one of the tight one Tuesday videos I used as a thumbnail because you had this kind of, this kind of smile like I'm, I'm going to get us in trouble, <laughs> which is pretty hilarious expression. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. I just cannot imagine a banana and mayo. I like both. I just can't see it together. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm hearing it. <laughs> okay. Veronica, they need a laxative. Her face she made when she said that one was great. <laughs> Did I make a face? Well, it's true. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to start selling laxatives on their store. <laughs> and every time somebody says anything, I'm I'm just, no, no. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay, instead of deleting the comments, I will leave the comments. And I will say, thank you for your comment. This might help you with an affiliate link to Amazon. <laughs> and then, honey, you got to high five me. I'm high fiving. <laughs> then for 24 hours, I get will get for paid troll. for the troll. <laughs> now, if that is not the most brilliant YouTube creator idea yet. Yep. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Do you guys think I should do that? I think I should do that. I think I should do that. Or prunes. Do I do laxatives or prunes? Both. A two-pack. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> two <-pack. laughs> it's the get it together people set. <laughs> <laughs> I, you gotta tell Roberto <sighs> about that one <laughs> I do yes. I have to tell you'll be recommending that, that to other YouTubers <laughs> <laughs> or Miralax Mama B says <laughs> sometimes I'm so brilliant I amaze myself I'm a legend in my own mind. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Rachel, she's the Matara poster. Oh, with all my faces. Oh, my goodness. It's been a long two months, guys. We're starting to lose it. <laughs> Patty, I don't get it. People ask you how to prep, but tell you to give yours away. Duh, people. I know. Claire says, it is easy to be rude and feel superior when you don't have to face someone. Yeah. Amelia, do they tell you to give your stuff away because they don't? Usually those are the ones that give advice. Yeah, exactly. Julie, people speak too freely online. <laughs> they would never say in person. People need to learn how to remember how to glean and leave the rest alone. Yep. Susan says, we need to sell our own merch. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh Thank you, everyone, loving my shirt. Mama B. Oh, yeah, I said that one. Kathy, my son who does well, says you have to spend money to make money. Yep. Not necessarily true, but yes, you do have to sometimes do that. I mean, there's lots of ways to make money without spending it. So I don't totally agree with that. But at the same time, you get to a certain point where if you spend the money, you will make more money than you spend. And you need to not be cheap then because it's not. It's not wise business wise. Jenny, Tara, start a side YouTube part time to see if it'll do good. We'll follow you. I kind of already have with super easy recipes. I will show you. Emily, I'm obsessed about spending $5 to go to a string quartet concert yesterday to the point that it robbed me of my joy. Yes, that's where you have to, that's not frugal, that's cheap. 
And when that happens, that's just wrong. God has blessed you with this money for you to enjoy it and to help others. And if you're so, not saying you are, but I'm just saying in general, if you're so selfish that you don't help anybody with the money God has given you, that's going to rob you of joy. Also, if you're so cheap that you don't enjoy the money that you've been given, that's just as wrong. That's just as wrong. Mama B, the books, so making course, grocery course, grocery group, all saved me from financial ruin. Wow. wow. Thank you. That is great. It's actually encouraging for us. Yeah. Thank things. you so much. Jill, I bought your books because I didn't want to pay to print them off and bind them myself. I know. See, that's the beauty of us having books that are so big because this one is almost 600 pages. People aren't going to want to print it off. It's well, 600 pages. Well, it's, well, actually, what's funny about that is there were people that would buy the ebooks instead of the print books because they thought they could print it off. But then they started saying, I'm using $100 of ink. Because <laughs> the ink is pricey to print your own. And you could take it to a, a print shop, but it still costs at a print shop like three times as much because, you know, we have 5,000 of them printed at a time, which costs us a whole lot in one whack but it's cheaper per book so it's more expensive to buy an ebook and print it yourself than it is to just buy a print book <laughs> i unfortunately i'm sorry for you th those of you who are not in the u.s that that's not possible but we tried for a long time tanya i appreciate your tips on saving money the problem with people is they can't just not watch not take advice they have to add their two cents yeah i know Becky, I have been subscribed to your newsletter since 2009. Thank you. She said it's changed her life. You are welcome. Avery, some things cost money and some things cost time. Yep. Lori says we've changed her life too. Thank you. You're welcome. Donna, Tara, I keep hearing you yell at me. <laughs> just throw away the trash. Yes, just throw away the trash. I am shocked. And how many people I go in and help them organize their house or friends ask me to help them or whatever, just get rid of the trash. And what happens is when you're living in it, you just don't even realize it's even there. Like today, before my day got completely blown up by the appointment, I was like, this pile has been sitting here for six months. I'm going to get this pile taken care of. And all it amounts to is I need to put a hanger on a picture and stuff a pillow in a pillow thing. But I haven't done it for six months. I've just had it sitting on the hall tree in my bedroom. I'm like, this pile's been over here. Just do something with it. And it's not like my house is just piled with junk everywhere. But I have things that I'm going to eventually get to. And today I was going to eventually get to it. And I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had something I was going to eventually get to today too. And I got sidetracked by another thing. <laughs> But it wasn't your thing. Uh, <laughs> yes, <I tried. laughs> yeah. Savannah, I've been watching you guys a long time. You feel like family. Aw, thanks. The Thank advice you. we've given her has helped her so much. We are comforting. Pro's family. My mom's first job was plucking chickens at the neighborhood grocery store. Oh, the chickens were delivered unplucked. Oh, man. Amy, order the gluten-free cookbook for Mother's Day. Thank you for the sale. You're welcome. Happy Mother's Day. Debbie, whenever someone tells me I should do this or that, I ask them for money to do so. Shuts them down right quick. Very good. Yeah, that's very good. Um, Marilyn, thanks. I will just do a check and search work for home for those work at home jobs. Let's see. It was, do you remember what I titled those videos? Um, well, we changed it from work at home job to something what did about I change business. it to? Look it up the word business. The exact title name 100 Business Ideas. There's the exact title name. So type in business ideas and you will find the video on the search. Um, da, 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 da. Kim, I made your maple glazed chicken. We loved it. Thank you. That is in volume one. I watch you not only for your frugal tips, but for entertainment. You make me laugh. <laughs> Don't let rude, hateful comments get to you. Sorry. It does. Oh. 
<sighs> okay. People were loving all the the different things about the the gift pack for <laughs> trolls. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna delete them. I'm gonna put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll get money if they buy anything off of Amazon. <laughs> we should check and see if our Amazon affiliates go up after that. <laughs> yeah, the Claire Trio, number one, no, plus one for Amazon affiliate link to the nasty people. <laughs> I don't think Kimmy's on. I got to tell Kimmy that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Everyone's loving the Amazon link for trolls. <laughs> you guys think that's a good idea? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> well, shall I send you that yeah, one? Yeah, good. Getting yeah. tired. <laughs> I love frugal living, reusing things, planting a garden. The value of visual book in front of me is easier than printouts. Yes, that's part of the reason for the book. And actually, guys, the new, these new videos that I'm coming up with. I think it's going to be more tips and less talking. I mean, we'll still do the live shows, but I mean, on the shorter videos that we put out and I'm just going to start showing tips. This is how I originally wanted to start out. And this is how I originally started the channel. It didn't work because we didn't know what we know about YouTube now. And now that I know that the compilations of tips and stuff like that are doing better, I'm going to start doing that and keep them very heavily edited, very short. And see if that does something. Jacqueline, I buy your books to support you. They are awesome books. My life has improved. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, let's see. Did you send it to me? Oh, no. Sorry, sorry. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows that show? Uh, I'll give you a Okay. Hint. Who knows? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> or let's see. What was? Was. Well, I don't want to know your names. Well, we just thought you might like to know the names of your assailants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see if anybody gets it. You didn't say it with the right mm. accent or else they might have figured it out. That's true. Well, go ahead and say it with the accent. <laughs> well, he was... <clears throat> Yeah, we just thought you might like to know the names of your assailants. <laughs> well, that wasn't quite it, but it's close enough that if, you, if, if, if you're, you're familiar with it, you'll know about. what we're talking about. Um, Lori, totally appreciate your honesty, and thanks for being so real. You're welcome, Karen. And on the Super Easy Risk video is going gangbusters. So happy for y'all. Yes, the picture with Mike holding an empty plate is going viral on Super Easy Recipes. I'm like, are you kidding me? All I needed for a thumbnail was Mike holding an empty plate. <laughs> if yeah. you guys knew how many classes we've taken, how many things we've done to <laughs> improve our channel and stuff, and all we needed well, it's was you. Because we've had sixty thousand views. <laughs> On Super Easy, oh, too. Oh, I got a crook on my neck. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you hurt yourself reacting. Wow. See, this is why she can't do reaction videos. <laughs> and you're holding a stupid plate. An empty plate. I'm telling you. Ow. Oh, man. Thank you, Jesus. Do I need to rub it tonight? Oh, <laughs> oh ow. Wanda says, oh, now we need a thumbnail with Jack. goodness. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I cannot believe that. If you guys knew, you guys had any idea what we've been going through it, behind the scenes, keeping our channels going, and all I needed was it you smiling. I'm telling you, dear, it's it's me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, Rob, how you doing? <laughs> You joined in just in time to see the meltdown. <laughs> just oh, Rob feels my pain. Rob and oh. Kimmy know my pain. So the sorry, sorry, sorry we were talking about oh. is not from the wedding date. I'm not sure what the wedding date is. It's actually from a TV show in the 80s. And it also goes with a different character 
was the one that said copyright strike. Yeah, Suzanne got it. New heart. Very good, Suzanne. It was hi. I'm Larry. This is my brother Daryl. This is my other brother Daryl. And the guy's like, What do I care what your names are? He's like, We just thought you know the names of your assailants. Because basically, in this episode, it's called uh, something about Stephanie. I um, uh, can't remember what they called it. I think it's called Miss Stephanie. But anyway, uh, there's a guy who's being tacky to everybody. And if y'all know who Larry, Daryl, and Daryl are, <laughs> they always introduce themselves, and it was pretty funny. That was like my favorite moment in that whole series. Rob says he hope he's he's not making us crack up. Like that. <laughs> no, YouTube is. Just go back like five minutes, Rob. <laughs> Jen says when you were young, you'd fall off a bunk bed and roll down a mountain zero injuries. And now sleep on my pillows in the attraction. <laughs> oh, is that not the truth? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that gave me a headache. Okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Debbie was raised on banana and Miracle Whip sandwiches. I just can't imagine that. Okay, I'll try to remember to go buy bananas tomorrow. Crazy Cat Lady has a similar one. When a kid, you fall out of a tree and walk it off. As a more vintage adult, you gasp too hard and throw out your neck. I know. You know how you get that crook in your neck and it goes clear down? That's what I did. Uh. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, I should do a video on this. Peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Peanut butter and pickle sandwiches, Angie says. Oh my like, goodness. Oh, I shared because they had like 15 Peanut butter varieties. and a slice of cheddar cheese? No way. Do you guys really eat this? We should do this as a tester on the show and see. We need to go through all the comments and get, because one I didn't catch, I forgot what, I think it was Wanda. Somebody said something about kielbasa and peanut butter oh i can't eat that oh i forgot it's got peanut butter <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <babe. laughs> yeah wanda you might like it oh well that's just it i'm not sure if i would not like it or not because i really like mayonnaise and i really like peanut butter if i only had one condiment in the world it would be mayonnaise much to our friend jonathan's chagrin um oh we didn't explain if, well if you're not a if you're not a new heart fan there's a maid who's like from a mega rich family, but she goes to be a maid for them and she doesn't ever want to do anything and she doesn't ever want to apologize. So she says, sorry, sorry, sorry. And, and that's basically a way of saying, sorry, not sorry. So she doesn't even know how to be sorry. So yeah. that's kind of the joke. Peggy, do I eat tomato sandwiches? I have not, but I love tomato on my sandwiches. Kimberly, I like toasted tomato sandwiches. Uh-huh. Maybe I should try that too. Heather, if we find any feathers or feather pins in our chickens we bought at the store, it's reasonable to return it. Is it reasonable to return or exchange it for a fully clean chicken? Well, I guess. Yeah. But I mean, how many feathers are you finding? Can you just pluck out one or two feathers? I mean, I guess if you're finding like 25 or 30... I don't know. I mean, I, I I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I don't know if it's worth your hassle is what I'm i I can saying. tell you that these days, probably the clerk would be, ew, sure, here, here's your refund. Probably. But, I mean, if, if there's a feather, I, we've ne I, I've never seen one, have you? Uh-uh. In a store about chicken, so, um, but it, I, if I saw one, I'd probably just pick it off. Although I'm the guy who Picks the hair off too. <laughs> Tara, that's the game changer for her. Yeah. Uh, G Jack says, I quit using clothes softener a long time ago. I use wool bars. Yeah, wool balls. Yes, that is a great way to do it. She puts essential oils on her. I wouldn't because the oil could come off on your clothes. It doesn't always, but it, there's a chance it could. Crazy cat lady thinks I should try the banana meal. Okay, I'll try to go to the grocery store tomorrow. Oh, yeah, tomorrow's thrift store day. So I'll try to go to the store after thrift store. Donna, make Mike try it. Poor Mike. He doesn't want to um, try these things. Oh, Johnny says, oh, I've been double dogged dared. Now I have to do it. Yep. Yep. 
you could do a video of you, Mike, and Jack trying it. Hmm. Probably won't be as good on her gluten-free bread. Yeah, so that's the thing. Gluten-free bread is really, really good toasted for me. So that's why I was kind of like, I don't know if I would like it if it's not the soft sandwich bread. Of course, I could taste it on regular sandwich bread and then just spit it out. I could do that. Well, I didn't see, uh, where was the comment? Somebody made a comment about, uh, they thought that you grilled it. What? Somebody you grill them. I, I can't remember if they said you grilled it on the mayo or if you grilled it with butter or something. I can't remember. I saw. I'll a comment. have to look it up and see if I can find a recipe. Jim might be might be like the boiled peanuts. Oh man, I hope not. That was bad. I'm sorry. I ate several because it's one of those things where you keep eating it and you're thinking, okay, everybody says these are really great, so I'm going to keep trying them because there's got to be something to it. And I never did get it. Banana bacon peanut butter with mayonnaise. Uh, that's what I was going to tell you. There are so many uh, oh combinations that people mention. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> there's your third channel. Teach your subscribers to run a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, but there's thousands of those out there. <laughs> Amelia, I love to move and hopefully make enough selling to buy another house. But Phil guy is telling me to wait. At the present time, just uncomfortable staying here now. Oh, believe me, I totally get it. Five years is what we were at our other house. A banana and Nutella sandwich. Now, that would be really good. That would just be a chocolate covered banana. Pineapple with cheese. What? Is, do you guys need some vitamins or something? What are these combinations? <laughs> Gross. Kenneth says, I will stick to your recipes. <laughs> Pineapple and cheese. Oh, what was it? There's something else that people put cheese on that I always thought was weird, but it's real common. Apple pie. Yes. Claire says, how is Duke's mayo different from Best Foods? I think it's just that they put paprika in, but it does taste different. <laughs> Wanda, LOL, Mike. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, wait. I don't like peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like, what are you talking well, about? Well, I also don't eat eggs, but I make killer omelets. Yes, you do yeah. make a good omelet, but he won't let it touch his mouth. Melissa, my mom would say about your emergency situation, which is always frustrating to me to no end. Aren't you glad you had the money pay for it? Yes. Do banana sandwich with fresh ripe bed. Yes. So we have had to go into debt for our emergency. Hopefully this sale will cover that. And if we wouldn't have had our six month savings, we would not have been able to. to we would have had to go into a lot of debt. You would have been in a lot of debt. Yeah. And so we are we are very, very thankful. It's just we're very tired and very worn out. We're just kind of like, oh my goodness, does it ever end? So it does. It ends sometimes. But just yeah. It's nice to see. Well, it's nice to know that God is doing something and to trust him for it. And eventually yes. when we can look back and see what that was, maybe. Hopefully. Well, and. Because in the past, we've been able to look back and see most of the time. And this could affect our lives, which I haven't told you about the latest text we got today. But this could affect our lives in a positive way, in other ways. And so... If that's true, it would definitely be worth the amount of money we spend on all this. But anyway, okay. Kathy says, this is why we need your cookbook. Look at what we're eating. No kidding. <laughs> well, my goodness. <laughs> I'm like, you hear about people who are really vitamin deficient eating drywall and stuff like that. And you're like, really? I don't know. I mean, even though I haven't eaten peanut butter and banana and and banana and mayo and stuff don't they don't sound that doesn't sound crazy it sounds like it could be reasonable i mean i think about peanut butter and chocolate cookies and if i were if i ate peanut butter i mean i could see how that could adapt to peanut butter and bananas <laughs> Deborah says, worked with a young woman who told me her favorite pastime is making comments on random videos just to be rude and stir something up. I was shocked. She seemed like such a sweet person. Oh well, that's the thing is that people that wouldn't be, well, 
maybe they secretly would be, but people that you wouldn't expect to be really nasty with people in real life, it's like almost forget that other people are people. Because I there's a YouTuber that we know, <clears throat> and I, I saw this uh, clickbait thing talking about this YouTuber, uh, a kind of a tragic family situation. And I was first of all, I thought, I don't know that this is true. But, um, but I was thinking, even if it is true, that video had a massive number of views. And I was thinking, do we really want to take joy in other people's suffering? <laughs> and, and that's kind of the way that that video was um, positioned to make it like, ha, look at this. Isn't this great? And I was thinking, no, it's not great. She's a real person. <laughs> so... Or it's stuff like, ah, oh, we caught you. You said this cost a dollar, but then you said over here it costs 50 cents. Well, okay, I screwed up and I messed up on what my number was for something. You know, I still got it for really super cheap. And uh, yeah, but anyway, Jen says, I wonder how many people hear your voice when they go to the grocery store. I know I do. You don't need that. <laughs> Connie says the print books are great. They're very high quality. Thank you very much. And they are 50% off right now for Mother's Day. If you buy the set, 40% off. If you buy the single books, our planners are 20% off. We only have about 30 left now. 400 pages, 366 days to help you get organized. Yay. And um, I will sign everything that you guys buy today. I will sign it until for the next five minutes of the show. I will sign whatever you order. Well, I'll give you I'll give you till 7:30 p.m. tonight because I know sometimes it's delayed on the thing. So I'll give you till like, 7:30 Mountain. Basically, like half hour after the show yeah. ends. 7:30 Mountain. That way you don't have to leave the yeah the hilarious chit chat <laughs> to go over. <laughs> Counting the Badlands, being a pincher, pitcher, penny pitcher for most of my life, you learn to find joy in just life. Could now indulge in stuff, but don't love my where we are in life. Just find joy in each and every day. Yep. Fran just made our oatmeal cookie recipe in volume one. I just made those too. She added coconut and chocolate chips. It was so easy and so good. Isn't yeah. that delicious? The boys were just nerfing them. They loved them. Crazy cat lady. The problem with just get rid of it is we've been brainwashed because it's bad for the planet and stuff never gets donated. Yeah. I, I agree with you. Anything else? Uh, um, well, I can send you more if you want. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, <coughs> Ooh, Amy, oh. oh, yeah. A Sorry. I was going to send you some, but Amy said, Mike, what's your favorite meal Tara makes? She makes this chicken fried steak out of ground beef. And I thought ground beef, I can't imagine that. But man, it tastes at least as good as restaurant chicken fried steaks, steaks maybe better. It's a lot cheaper and um, it's it's just extraordinary. So I often request that for super special occasions like our 30th anniversary or <laughs> or uh, birthday or something like that. So, oh, Susan, I am so sorry. I have an email about the Spanish Bible version, and I have not looked at it, looked at it yet. Um, so I, I need to get back to you. I'm sure that we could get one. I the ones I found were on Amazon, and they were a retail like a pretty high price. But I was just I think I can get them like a bulk amount of them for you for y'all. Actually, uh, I was going to email you back and ask how many do you think. So I will look and find that out. Sorry for the delay on that. Uh, oh, you want to be Laura that. says, I hear it when I'm tempted to order from a restaurant or hit the drive-thru. It has saved me a lot of money over the years. Okay, we need the boys just to have an app. That when you drive by a restaurant, Tara says, just yeah. keep going. You can make dinner at home in five minutes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is totally, totally funny. And there's the Die Hard app with your grandma on it. Yeah. <laughs> grandma was more of a, you only need one slice of, of ham on your sandwich, which, yeah. you know, I guess that's not unreasonable, but definitely people don't want to hear that. For yeah. The most part. 
pear has topped cheese. with mayo and shredded cheddar. Now I've heard of pear with cream cheese. I've never heard of mayo, but cream cheese and shredded cheddar. That would good, be good. Marcy says, I'm sticking with peanut butter and jelly. No kidding. Oh my goodness. You guys are kind of scaring me. I'm thinking, man, do we need to start selling multivitamins or something? Um, Amber, we don't age a bit. What's our secret? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, thank you. Thank I you. appreciate that. We don't drink and we don't smoke. And genetically, that's that's really good. Well, and even though there is stress, <clears throat> I think that Jesus um, doesn't make you not stress, but you have a, I don't know, a peace about it in some sense. I mean, it's not peaceful. Well, like, you still stress about big things, but there's some sort of a peace about it. And because I've, I've had family that were just high strung stressed all the time. And I do think that's a big, uh, like being a believer is a really big thing uh, it, that's helped us in that way, I think. But thank you. That was my daughter. <laughs> I mailed my son-in-law's birthday card two weeks ago to Colorado from Wyoming, a five hour drive. And it just got there today. Well, it's weird. I'm wondering if, cause what is with the mail here? Well, what I think is funny is books are getting to people real fast, but stuff here in Wyoming and Colorado isn't, but, it was 10 days from here to Laramie. Well, but we got that other letter the other day that I had been waiting on for a really long time. And yeah. It, and it was from out of state, but I was wondering if the first class mail is having some sort of struggle because we ship books by media mail. Uh, you know, <sighs> books and things qualify for that. So, <clears throat> oh my goodness, can't believe that. Why not have the app say all of your sayings? Oh, that would be funny. <laughs> oh, I should get that for my kids for <laughs> their birthdays. <laughs> Katie loves, Katie loves green chili and chicken pasta. Isn't that delicious? Oh, Laura just ordered her three book set. 50% off, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Guys, Heather, do you think essential oils is supposedly health benefits or cleaning is a waste of money? Yes. And yes. There you go. <laughs> okay. So here's my thing on that. I have been an herbalist, essential oil person since before it came a thing. Like I bought my first how to use herbs and essential oil book in 1991. And I still have it on my shelf today and absolutely love it. I wholeheartedly believe in herbs. I wholeheartedly believe in essential oils. But they are way overrated now for what people say they can do. So you're coming from someone who has used these for more than 30 years, 30, what, five years, 40 years, 40, no, 35 years. So, um, 30, yeah, 35 years. So I am all into essential oils and herbs and everything, but the way people are using them now is totally blown out of proportion. It's fine if you want to put a drop or two to scent your cleaners, your cleaners. It's fine if you want to use it in your lotions and that kind of thing. It does work. Like I make a sleep balm for mom and with essential oils and it does work really well. Speaking of which, I need to go over there and get some. Um, and I think it's great, but buying the Young Living, the Doe Tetra and all that, that is just overpriced. There's no reason for it. You can just get the stuff on Amazon and you're fine. They make way too much out of it now. And really it's just a money-making scheme is what it is. 
So it's fine, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. So it was kind of like, <clears throat> there are some things that are maybe useful products, but when people start saying they cure everything in yeah. the world, then it's yeah. not really, that's yeah. not really the case. And I think that's kind of what Tars yeah. saying is kind of, I wouldn't of buy a thing of essential oil just to clean with because it's a disinfectant. No, get yourself a disinfectant that really works. It's fine if you want to scent your cleaners or whatever, but yeah. Shelly, peanut butter and onion sandwiches. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with you guys? Okay, a peanut butter sandwich episode is brewing. I guess. Oh my word. Did you see somebody said it? Something like the... Kenneth, probably I will the... stick to your recipes. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you hear somebody said something about it uh, being... They think the taste test might be like the bowl of peanuts. Oh. <laughs> Country gal, my grandmother liked peanut butter and Braunschweiger. I love Braunschweiger, but I cannot imagine eating it with peanut butter. Maybe I should make mom try that one. <laughs> yeah. Heather of the mountains, because she likes both of them. Fruit and cheese is actually really good. Yes, fruit and cheese, I can see. I guess I just didn't think of pineapple as fruit. So I guess it is fruit. Yeah. To me, pineapple is a fancy schmancy fruit. So I don't consider it fruit. But I could see apple and cheddar cheese like an apple pie. But I couldn't see cheddar cheese and oranges or pomegranates or anything. Well, that's a fancy one. But crazy cat lady. No, it never ends while we're still on this earth. Yeah, this is true. I know. I need to just accept that. Well, we were kind of realizing with everything that's been going on, we've had a really long 10 years. It's been 10 years since our brother-in-law died and our niece came to live with us. And and um, before that, well, actually, it's been a really long, like 13 years, <laughs> 14 years, long 14 years. <laughs> oh, time flies when you're trying to keep your head above water. Um, okay. Yeah, everybody's saying they're having problems with the post office. I know it's totally ridiculous. There was a there was a paper we were waiting from Florida that was coming to us. It was really important. And how long was it? Two weeks. For what was that? That paper from Florida we were waiting. It was was that two weeks? Yeah, or that's a really long 10 time. Ten or twelve days? I don't know. It was like twelve days or two weeks or something. It was a really long time. For first class mail. Yeah. Kenneth, I may never eat peanut butter again. I'm starting to think the same thing. I think I'm going to go enjoy my meatloaf. <laughs> oh, man, that sounds delicious. Veronica, Braunschweiger and cream cheese? I could see that. I could see that. Here, let me see. Yeah. You. There's a small list here. And then... Belinda, live again. Just wanted to say for my beautiful hubby's 50th birthday, he celebrated this past Sunday. We attended church in the morning. Yay! That sounds like fun. <clears throat> Tell him happy late birthday from us how does it feel being 50 dear i don't know it's been a while since <laughs> it was fine i i haven't gotten to the point of stressing over my age so i don't know if that will ever happen with me but <laughs> she said her his birthday dinner was pizza and pecan and a pecan cream sponge cake Never heard of that. That's different. Hmm. You're, you're hitting some of them already, but I sent you uh, a short Okay. List. <clears throat> All right. And for the last ones, Kim, I remember a child, my grandmother holding the chicken over the gas burner to burn off the few feathers. Yeah. My grandfather owned an old-fashioned meat market. Yep. That makes sense. Melissa, God never promised that you wouldn't go through hard times. Yes. And I know that. I totally get that. It's just... Yeah, I get that. Melissa, or Froze Family Jesus, helps us with the proper perspective of things. Yes. Sunset. I almost missed out on ordering my two sets tonight. Just got them ordered. Yay. Yeah. If you guys order tonight, I will give you till 730 Mountain. I will sign the books for you. Any orders we get, I will sign them. Carrie, it's an inner piece that helps us get through the stresses of life. Yes. And we're still waiting for a replacement cart reporter over a week ago. Oh, my goodness, Heather. That's crazy. Thank you. Patricia loves our show. Karen, I made the seasoned spice last night and used it on her roasted chicken, and the family loved it. That is great. Nice. yum rummo. Yeah. Yay. Guys, livingondime.com is where you can get 
our books and they are on sale till May 3rd, but I will sign them for today. We have, whoa, we have a lot of people who ordered. Very good. Thank you guys. Thank you. And um, <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We will be, I will work on signing those tomorrow morning and tonight. And I already got half of them signed over here. And I can so, rub your hand when you get a cramp in your hand. Yes. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, guys. Livingonadime.com. We will see you guys next time. Bye.